In this tutorial, we will discuss three different ways to cut any part of an object. The easiest method is, when you want to cut a perfectly geometrical shape from an object. For example, if we want to cut a rectangular, or a spherical part from this cube, we can use the Boolean modifier. For that, let us first add one UV sphere, and place it appropriately, so that the sphere has an overlap with our cube. Our aim is to cut the cube along this spherical line or the border. For a smooth cut, you may want to first make this sphere a smooth one. So go to the Modifiers tab, and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Then change the levels to 3, and apply the modifier. Now, select the cube which we want to cut. In the Modifiers tab, add a Boolean Modifier. Ensure that the Difference option is selected here, and in the Target Object field, select the sphere that we have added for the cut, and apply this modifier as well. We can now delete this sphere, so hit X on your keyboard and select Delete. You can see a nice spherical cut in the original cube. Very perfect and clean. Now, method 2. Let us first delete this cube and instead, add a cylinder this time. We will also increase its height by a factor of 2. Let us say that you want to cut exactly one third part of this cylinder from the bottom section. You don't need to do any math for that. Simply go to the edit mode, and first deselect everything. Then from this toolbar, select the loop cut tool, and click on the object to cut. Then open this operator box, and change the number of cuts to 2. We can now close this box. Pick up the select tool again. We can see that the cylinder got divided into 3 equal parts along its height. In order to separate out this bottom part from the cylinder, turn on the face selection mode. Then deselect everything, and select all the faces that appear in the bottom section. Keep the shift key pressed on your keyboard so that you can make multiple selections like this, and they add up. Also, select the bottom face. Now, go to the mesh menu, then select separate, and then selection. Now this bottom part is separated out from the main cylinder. Go back to the object mode, and you can select the bottom part separately. You can also move it to any side, it is just another object on its own. So, we got the lower third of the cylinder cut out and converted into a separate object. You can also add a cover face for this part if you want. In the edit mode, first turn on the vertex selection mode. Now, carefully select all the vertices at the top end, or the open end. Then go to the vertex menu and select this new face option. You will see a new face created for the open end of our object. Let us now look at the third method to cut. So first select everything and delete from here. Then, add another cube. This method is useful when you want to make any arbitrary cut, or you want to make a custom shape. For example, let us cut out a triangular part from this corner of our cube. So, go to the edit mode and deselect everything. Then select this knife tool, and click on one of the edges. Drag the mouse to another edge and click here to add a point. Then drag it again and complete the loop back to the first point, and then hit enter. Pick up the select tool now. To cut out this part, turn on the face selection mode. Then select the three faces, press X on your keyboard and select faces to delete them. So we got this triangular cut to one of the corners. You can also add a new face to this like before. Turn on vertex selection, select these three vertices, and from the vertex menu, select the new face option. We got a triangular face added to the area we just cut out. So, these are the three methods which you can use in Blender. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.